So recently my son uh, broke, I don't, he didn't break it, his uh, centrifugal clutch wore out on this 60cc Chinese uh, four-wheeler. This thing's been a, a headache ever since I got it a year ago. I've been replacing all kinds of parts on it. End up learning a lot about it and he ends up learning a lot because I get to explain stuff to him. So anyways, I was explaining how the centrifugal clutch works and what it is. Now that I got it off, I figured I might as well make a video for anybody else that's got a question on it. I am no means a mechanic, just a fireman and understand how some of the stuff works. But so here's a centrifugal clutch is the, the transmission. It's a single speed taken off, a couple bolts taken off. I left these on in the corners because I didn't need to take them off. That way I don't have to redo the... Uh, the gasket, as you can see, I've already redone once with the RTV to keep it together. So how this works is this, the reason it's called centrifugal clutch is this spins and the faster it goes, the centrifugal force forces these little shoe pads, I guess I don't know what to call them, pads, they come out, stretch against the spring. And when they do that, they put this housing that free spins in here which also turns the sprocket that turns the chain that drives the back wheels forward so basically what i'll do is i'll just uh, fire it up so you can see it's spinning um, and when it's just like this and it's spinning it, it will not engage but as soon as you press the, the throttle it'll cause it to go faster to expand against the springs catching the inside of this housing and turning it with friction and Fire it up real quick so you can see what that looks like. Hopefully you saw there how to like expand as you give it more throttle. It expands out and what that does again, it catches these and spins it. So first thing I found when I took it off was the spring was broke. So I had two springs, so it wasn't, you know, uh, fully expanding and catching as much friction on this as it could. And so it had like a uh, broken metal spinning sound just just metal grinding on metal so what happened was a spring broke and it actually got caught like down in here beneath these other pads and it was just grinding away all in pieces and then it ground all these pads off actually i think i have There's one you can see so yeah see there's no pad left on the top of that one kind of like a disc brake pad almost nothing left on it just completely grounded off all those little round pieces in there the uh spring that broke ground down and that's like the metal shaving it's not dirt down in there from those pads i'm guessing so anyways that's how it works same thing uh very similar very very similar to a chainsaw from what i've seen uh it's basically an oversized chainsaw clutch